Danielson. Me not strong. Me not know how to fold. In the pantheon of iconic poker stars, Phil Lack stands near the front of the pack. His irreverent table talk. Is there a lifeline situation in this program? Can I call a friend? And his signature hoodie made him almost more of a character than a person during the heights of the poker boom. You don't have to call, sir. You can just let it go. But where is he today? And how did he pull off one of the most insane feats of poker endurance in the history of the game? I love going fast. I love this. Motocross, bring it on. I see jumps. We'll get into all of it, but before we do let us know in the comments what other poker stars we should cover next we're always looking at your suggestions and would love to interact with you over there all right here we go phil lack better known to poker fans worldwide as the unabomber is one of the most colorful figures in the world of professional poker his journey from a quiet upbringing to international poker stardom is filled with triumphs eccentricities and a penchant for pushing both his mental and physical limits looking at him right now you would not think that the man has been awake Awake, I tell you, for more than 80 hours. And in these 80 hours, he's been playing poker the whole time. Well known for his 115-hour poker marathon that set a world record in 2010, Lack has consistently shown that his love for the game goes beyond the cards in front of him. Born in Dublin, Ireland on September 8, 1972, Lack ultimately grew up in the United States. His family relocated to Wellesley, Massachusetts when he was a child, and this is where Lack would begin to forge his identity. Grandma would uh, teach us poker and Tripoli in these little games. We all knew that uh, Grandma had it figured out. Like, poker wasn't bad. It was fun. He was a bright, curious student and eventually attended the University of Massachusetts, Amherst, where he earned a degree in mechanical engineering. And while his degree suggested a career in the technical or engineering fields, Lack's life would take on a very different direction. What is the purpose of life? Well, <clears throat> it surely can't be grinding this engineering job. And I thought, like, what would be the coolest jobs in the world? Let's go do that. Why do we don't have to work in banks and engineering like well, hello in his early years he dabbled in various forms of gambling and games he had a natural skill for chess and for backgammon and it was through these strategic games that he eventually discovered poker i remember very distinctly the first 20 minutes of my poker career my motives in the first 20 minutes were i'm here to earn money and on the 21st minute I was addicted. Poker's blend of strategy, of psychology, and of risk appealed to Lack, and it wasn't long before he decided to pursue it more seriously. He began by playing in underground games in California and New York. His sharp mind, honed from years of strategic games, allowed him to pick up the nuances of poker quickly. And as he gained more experience, he started participating in bigger tournaments, eventually turning professional. By the early 2000s, Phil Lack had established himself as a serious player in the poker world. One of Lack's most significant early achievements came in 2004, when he won his first major tournament at the World Poker Tour Celebrity Invitational. Oh, he did it! Oh, what a stunning turnaround his last two deals. Oh, there it is. Look at him. He has swung around and won this title. Phil Lock, the Unabomber, is our WPT Invitational Champion. It was a key moment that propelled him into the spotlight of the poker community. Over the years, he continued to perform well at both live tournaments and televised events, further solidifying his reputation. It wasn't until 2010, however, that he won his first WSOP bracelet, winning a six-handed No Limit Hold'em Championship at the World Series of Poker Europe. His eccentric personality soon became became one of his trademarks, as did his signature hoodie and sunglasses, which as we mentioned gave him the nickname the Unabomber. The moniker was a reference to Ted Kaczynski, the infamous domestic terrorist, though Lack's association was purely an aesthetic one. While Kaczynski's hoodie and glasses symbolized menace, Lack's were a symbol of mystery and of humor. The Unabomber persona contributed to Lack's mystique, and he used it to his advantage, keeping opponents guessing both about his cards and what he was thinking. But Lack's eccentricity wasn't limited to his wardrobe. His unpredictable behavior and his penchant for wild stunts made him an instant fan favorite. Whether he was making crazy bets, engaging in long monologues, or pulling off elaborate bluffs, Lack's games were never boring. In 2010, Phil Lack made headlines worldwide when he set out to break the world record for the longest continuous poker session. The record, previously set by Larry Olmsted at 72 hours and 2 minutes in 2004, was considered an extraordinary feat of endurance. However, Lack had his sights set much higher. 
He chose to attempt the record at the Bellagio Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, one of the most iconic poker venues in the world. The idea of playing poker for such an extended period wasn't just about winning, it was about proving his endurance, both mental and physical. Lack did not approach the challenge lightly either. He prepared for months, adjusting his sleep patterns, adopting a healthier diet, and even exercising to ensure his body could withstand the extreme fatigue that would come with playing for such a long period of time. On June 2nd, 2010, he began his record-breaking session. According to the official Guinness World Record guidelines, Lack was allowed a five-minute break for every hour of play, which he could accumulate and use in longer intervals if he chose. However, despite the rigorous conditions, Lack stayed sharp, chatting with fans and reporters while continuing to play. It's fun. I've never, this is manic fun. This is so much fun. It's actually, that's the main thing. Over the course of the 115 hours, Lack played cash games at lower stakes to avoid the stress of high-pressure hands. His performance remained remarkably consistent throughout the session, and though he grew visibly fatigued, he showed no signs of stopping. After nearly five days of playing poker without sleep, Lack finally concluded his marathon session, surpassing the previous record by a staggering 43 hours. He didn't just break the record, he shattered it. The poker world was stunned by his feat, and it solidified his reputation as one of the game's most dedicated and relentless players. His 115-hour session earned him a place in the Guinness World Records and raised over $6,000 for the charitable organization Camp Sunshine. While Lack's 115-hour session stood as the world record for over a decade, it was eventually surpassed. In 2021, a lesser-known player named Zach Gensler played for 124 hours straight, setting a new benchmark. But despite his record being broken, Lack's achievement has not been diminished. The sheer endurance and willpower required to play at a professional level for five days without sleep still inspires admiration in the poker community and beyond. Though he no longer holds the world record, Phil Lack remains an influential figure in the poker world. In recent years, he shifted his focus from live tournaments to more private games and appearances. And for those wondering, his friendship with fellow poker star Antonio Svandiari remains strong, and the two continue to collaborate on various poker-related projects. We dove into much more about the long-lasting friendship between Lack and Svandiari in our Antonio Svandiari video, so if you want to check that out, the video link can be found in the description. In terms of poker winnings, Lack's accumulated over $3.8 million from live tournaments. In addition to his earnings, he's admired for his contributions to the popularity of televised poker and his efforts to make the game more approachable and entertaining for casual fans. Beyond the poker table, Lack has been in a relationship with fellow poker star and film and TV actress Jennifer Tilly since 2004. He's embraced a more adventurous lifestyle. He enjoys extreme sports like skydiving and scuba diving, continuously seeking new ways to push his limits. His life today reflects the same philosophy that led him to break the world record in 2010, an unyielding desire to test himself in unique and unconventional ways. His 115-hour poker marathon remains one of the most remarkable achievements in the history of poker. And while his world record was eventually broken, the feat encapsulates everything that makes him such a compelling figure, his endurance and love for the game. Lack has lived a life defined by risk, by strategy, and by an enduring passion for poker. And today he remains a beloved figure in the poker world and a shining beacon in terms of what it truly means to be a poker star. And that's all we have for this one. Thanks again for checking out Poker Boom. What's the longest you think you'd be able to play poker for? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you in the next one.